Hey ladies and gents, it's Zen back. And I'm actually doing this review on the uh, two planes that are on sale right now on the Euro, Euro server. So this is only for European server. This is the KI-18 and the KI-33. Uh, right now the deal that they're selling these planes are, uh, they're calling it the Killing Them Softly uh, package deal. So you get two planes, you get 4,000 gold, 35x or 30x or five times XP for victory missions, auto back fire extinguisher, first aid kits, engine restarter, control service, 50 of all this stuff, right? Um, and this was, uh, I do believe it's got a whole day yet on this, but um, yeah, it's only on the EU server, so we don't get this deal on the North American server, just for the uh, European server. So what do we have here? Well, okay, so 1934, Mitsubishi developed a plane called the KA-14 for the Japanese Navy. Uh, the Japanese Navy looked at it and said, eh, it's not too bad. Uh, we're going to just continue with the development of it and eventually end up with the A-5M out of the deal. Uh, the Japanese Army, however, was interested in the plane, uh, so they asked Mitsubishi the, to to modify it a little bit for what their requirements were, and they came up with the KI-18. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you know that essentially was the first part of the of this process. Problem with the KI-18, there was some political. Uh, you know, there's there's not a whole lot of history about it. You know, what I could find was this, it sounded like the uh, the heads of the army weren't uh, terribly happy about using a Japanese uh, navy design, uh, and essentially got uh, axed. Uh, I do believe there was there was six prototypes for the KA-14. I believe there was one of the or two of these at the KI-18. However, uh, with the redesign, uh, this failed for the Japanese Army. They redesigned the airplane. Uh, they took the KI-18 and they actually made a, <laughs> just a few minor changes to it. Obviously, uh, engine was changed, cowling was changed, uh, and there was some changes in the landing gear and the, and. So essentially what we have right now is we have the KI-18 and the KI-33 is, is the exact same plane, uh, uh, historically speaking. Uh, the, the engines are a little bit different, uh, but that's about it. There's not a whole lot of difference between these two planes. So thank you, Wargaming, for giving us two planes that are exactly the same. So what do we have in game? And I'm not going to sugarcoat this shit. These planes are not good. Uh, I, I mean... I'll take that back. If you like this playstyle and you like tier three, uh, you know, hey, buy them. Um, if you like the low tier Japanese planes, uh, you're going to be all fine. Uh, these planes do all right if they are only top tier. Anything that you get into a tier four fight, you're fucked uh, because they don't do anything real well. Uh, firepower, uh, we're at tier three and we have the same firepower as the tier one uh, Nakajima Type 91, which is two machine guns. Two 7.7 .7 machine guns, I believe. Uh, yeah, two 7.7s. Yep, two 7.7s. Uh, that is your what you get for machine guns on this, which is identical to the Tier 1. Uh, maneuverability is great, don't get me wrong. Things turn on a dime. Uh, but when you have the same altitude performance as a Tier 1 at Tier 3, uh, yeah, you... You're not you're not doing you're, you're not doing a whole lot. I mean, the big difference here is, of course, the air speeds. Uh, but other than that, these planes, yeah, they're 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 just a slightly better tier one at, and you're playing at tier three, three, which you're going to see uh, tier fours, you know, hurricanes, BF 109s, and whatnot. Uh, so I'm not going to sugarcoat this shit. Uh, unless you're looking for gold, or if you're a collector and you really really want these planes, go for it. Um, but th they don't do anything well, uh, and you can get into a turn fights. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're they're, they're great turn and burn planes, but they just they, they suffer everything else. They're slow. They have no altitude performance, and when they literally say "killing me softly," um, I mean it's a play on words with the KI part of it. But really, what they're saying is it takes you a epic long time to kill a plane with this thing. Uh, those 7.7s, yeah, heavy light fighters, you know, you're talking a fair amount of time to kill one. Heavy fighters, yeah, fuck it, 
you you might as well not even spend the time or the effort because they're very short range weapons, and they take forever to kill a heavy fighter. Same way with ground attack planes. So you you have to steer clear away from half the planes on the battlefield because you just do not have the uh, weapons to take those targets down without taking significant damage yourself. Um, you get in behind a GA that's got rear gunners. It, it's a contest to literally see who's going to blow each up with, uh, each other up first because uh, you're going to lose. Same way with a Falkwell 57s or any of the heavy fighters that have rear guns. Uh, yeah. Just so, yeah, you're, you're literally kind of just, yeah, light fighters and um, other, and, and multi-rolls. That's about the only thing you can really engage. And if those fighters or multi-rolls have any altitude performance or speed, <laughs> they just run away from you or they just go higher because you can't catch them anyway. So, uh, these two planes, I'm going to give them two thumbs down. Uh, they're just not worth the 33 bucks package. You, you're not going to get anything out unless you're looking for that, the 50 times, uh, you know, um, consumables or or the 50 times, uh, five times mission or the 4,000 golds. Uh, these planes themselves are just, they're just meh. And, and I'm not going to, like I said, two thumbs down on the actual planes because they're just not worth it. So I'm going to bring you to the two games, the two games, actually I played three games, I think, in this plane. And there are uh, three games between the two planes. Uh, and they're all three were losses, and they just I, I quit because I was gonna break the keyboard. Uh, they're just so not worth it. So bring up the games for you guys to check out here, uh, and uh, see what you guys think. All right, back with the battle in the, this glorious machine. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, <laughs> we're back. Uh, yeah, this is the KI-18. Uh, I'm doing this battle. Uh, I'm going to go center and hopefully run into some light fighters or something. <laughs> yeah, and then this, th these planes are depressing, almost to the point where just like, well, wow, really. Um, the lack of firepower. Uh, I mean, you you can have maneuverability, but with if you don't have uh, at least some sort of firepower. I mean, yeah, the Japanese low-tier planes all have kind of similar amb uh, firepower as this, as these planes, uh, as these premium ones do. Um, but uh, they do generally have better performance uh, other than just uh, the crappy uh, machine guns. So we're pulling here on this poor HE-51, and I'm literally killing him softly uh, with my not-so-big guns. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with that song, go check it out and see what I'm talking about here. Uh, so I flipped down here, pulling on the other uh, other HE, uh, and we're going to see if we can finish him off uh, and hopefully um, try to get this cap turned. Knock him out, and we're almost up to blue, uh, but we got some red planes coming in here. Uh, got the AR, and this is what I was talking about here, right? So I'm pummeling him, trying to get some shells into him, and yep, I'm just gonna hit the boost and um, I'm out of here um, I'm already almost ready to stall out I can't catch him I can't get that high um, you know so we're not even gonna bother so they flip the, the base on us uh, and that leaves me here once again with the AR-90 uh, back in on him um, and we're gonna eventually maybe get him no he's just gonna simply outrun my guns uh, because I have absolutely no range. Um, you know, he's already at the 1,200 feet. About 1,300 feet, I believe, is when he's out of my range. And luckily, he turned back in. Um, and But it, it takes you forever with these 7.7s uh, to actually kill anything. So I pull in here on the other KI. Um, he's got two 50s. Uh, that's the big difference between us. Um, we got similar maneuver maneuverability. And, of course... I don't have a very good plane or actual pilot in here um, to make up for. Uh, he's probably got a better crew than I do. Uh, but we still stay on each other's tail right here. And we're going to go around and around and around and around um, until eventually. We, we This is the other human pilot in the game. And he's, we run into each other quite often uh, in this game. So I'm going to try to get him, finally get around on him, and finally kill him. But at this time, here comes the red blood clot of shit. And uh, there, yeah, here we go. 
Mr. AR, I've been. Sh this is my third attempt at you to finish you off. And can we get him? Can we get him? Can yep, there we go. Finally, finally, finally. Um, it, these new planes do have flaps, which is pretty nice. Um, but uh, you know, this is a Japanese plane. If you're not on fire, your wings are fucking almost ready to fall off because they get you get module damage, you get just about everything. Um, wings come back somewhat operational. Uh, and that's the time uh, this guy comes back, and he's going to be a Billy Badass. And I'm, I'm screwed because my wings are damaged, and I don't have the ability to turn with them anymore. Uh, so we get into a spin, um, and I got red planes all over. Uh, of course, he's got me on fire, too. Uh, I'm not saying that's premium ammo, but... <laughs> yeah, we won't get into that. So, I get busted... And I'm out of the match. And you can tell by my voice how lackluster I feel about these plates. I, I just could I just can't put myself and I like I said I played three games with both planes. I played I think two in the KI eighteen and the K and one with the KI thirty three and I was just done. Uh, I, I couldn't bring myself to uh, suffer through this uh, suffer through this because these these planes are just not worth 33 bucks unless you really want the rest of the stuff that's in the package uh, these planes are never going to be something that you're going to want to uh, spend time playing um, you know and i should say never because there's people that actually enjoy this these kind of games or these kind of uh, planes um yeah you know hey uh, good good for you go for it uh but on average uh if you're looking of course for a J a, J a japanese premium plane go buy the a6m3 when it comes on sale uh, these low tier, uh, these low tier Japanese planes are just, they're just not worth it in my opinion. So, pick up the I-16, of course he's out of the, uh, out of the, uh, objective, so I'm not going to deal with him. Uh, Mr. Human Pilot, he's pissed still for some reason, so he's going to come after me most of this rest of the game here. So we get into another fight, but at this point I'm, I'm totally kind of screwed uh, because I have nothing but red planes all the way around me. So we get into another turn fight and we're just going back and forth here. Now he's kind of put himself in a bad position and eventually I would have got his onto his tail here. Uh, he's up against the side of this mountain here so he's really having to slow down when he comes around the corner and he sets me on fire again. But pull back around on him and I'll, I'm going to try to get him but at this point once again, I'm wings are damaged from the four or five red player red planes that are circling around me to death, um, and there's not a whole lot I can do here. So come back in here, and we ram. So not out of the game again, and what are we gonna do? Well, we'll wait 27 seconds, come back in here again, and see what we can do. <sighs> and you can. I hope you guys are getting what I'm. Literally, just the most frustrating I've had in a while um, with a plane. Uh, there's just absolutely nothing about uh, these planes that are, other than maneuverability, um, they're fire magnets. They take damage like you wouldn't believe. They have no altitude performance. They have no firepower. Um, and yeah, th and that's it. Uh, so, if you're going to use this to grind credits, uh, I mean, other than maybe grinding out crew skills the, the, these are not going to be great credit makers uh, as far as I can tell um, they just lack the uh, sheer ability to uh, own a map or own a uh, game um, you get a competent human pilot under time or uh, just a you know a fair amount of uh, heavy fighters uh, you know for example here once again I'm on fire again because here comes my buddy in the Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's A5M. Flip back over on the A5M, and, you know, this is my third fire in this game. And, of course, about that time, here comes the other KI-27 uh, and finishes me off. So, that was the KI-18 game. Once again, just blah. Uh, I, I, I can't even begin to not beat my head onto the keyboard. So, hope you guys enjoyed that game. Let's bring up the KI-33. 
Alright, back with the KI-33. Um, once again, exact same plane as the KI-88, except for this one is just a slight bit faster. Um, and, and that's the only thing that this thing has over the KI-88, or the KI-13, uh, is that it's, it's just slightly faster. Same maneuverability, same shit guns. Um, yeah, there's nothing about it that's even remotely... Good. So, heading to the center, just because I can't deal with um, heavy fighters on the other side, and AA will eat the will eat this thing um, left and right. So, coming in here onto the center, uh, at least here I have light fighters that I can shoot that are at my altitude. Uh, I don't have to deal with heavy fighters too much uh, until hopefully a little later when they get up to altitude. First guy coming down here. And we're getting on the HE-51 right off the bat. So, killing me softly. I, 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 I don't know if this is a wargaming joke or what the fuck. Killing me softly literally means, I mean, I mean, yeah, I get the KI part. But I think what they really were saying is, now we're going to give you two planes that is literally going to take you, you know, most of the game to, 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 to kill. So, pulling on the human hurricane pilot. I should be fighting hurricanes. <laughs> Other than the fact that I can turn faster than him, that's the only thing he's got going for me. And of course, hey, nice. I love, love human pilots that use them things as a batting ram. Um, yeah, it takes me out right off the bat from the rear. So, back to center here uh, and hopefully see what I can do. Uh, and I don't have anything that's, you know, that, that, that was my own player. Uh, and you know, and I, I, I've heard that the uh, European server is <laughs> a lot of fun, and here I am. No, I, that, I don't know why that even happened. I, I don't get it. Um, apparently, he was just a little too close and hit, couldn't hit the brakes. Come in over on here. I'm gonna, just going to pick up an easy kill here off the BF-109. Um, maybe not so easy. Ah, there we go. Back around. Now, ah, there we go. Um, you just get so frustrated because it takes so long with these guns to actually kill something. And a lot of times you can't even get to the right altitude to kill to, to actually kill that plane that you're after. You know, here for example, here's the Hurricane 1. Uh, we're going to go into a spin. I'm going to win this no matter what he is, even though if he's a tier higher plane than I am. And it might take me three minutes to kill him, but I win because of my maneuverabil maneuverability, unless of course he decides that he's going to put it on the ground and run away from me, which I can't stop him because I don't have the range with the guns or the speed to catch him. And you can just see literally how fast he's already moving away from me. But he does the ram right off the bat, runs into the other human pilot. Um, yeah. So, back to center. And we're going to see what we can do here. I've got a lot of light fighters running around here. Yeah, and I'm hoping that uh, with the one that's coming with me, I might have a chance. Uh, heavy fighters prey on you constantly, and it doesn't take actually very much for them to just simply erase you from the map. Um, whether it's just sheer damage or uh, actually just finishing you completely off. Pulled back around here. I got a Falkwolf 57. I don't even want to dick with him. I can catch him. He's at altitude. Uh, not only can I can't, can't catch him, but I can't kill him fast enough that his rear turret's not going to kill me. So, try to pull away from that ram, but I still end up getting rams. And now I'm just getting um, chased all over here. Wolf is right there. Uh, we'll see if we can put a couple shells into him before he gets away. Yep, 1,300 feet. He's gone. I can't, I can't keep shooting at him. All right, so here comes the Hurricane 1. Uh, he's going to wreck my day. We'll fast forward it. Back in again. And it, oh, three games. I couldn't win a single game in this in these planes. Um, and I'm not even sure if you had a 12-point pilot, you could make these planes perform any better. Um, it, maybe if you loaded completely complete consumables and premium ammo, you know, we're talking the gold kind here, uh, 
you might have a chance. So I'm not going to go to center. I'm not going to feed the uh, combat point buffet that is currently going on center. Uh, those guys are just capping it hard. But we got the missiles coming in anyway. Hopefully, if they were the blue players would have stayed out of there, we would have probably took the center uh, relatively easy. Uh, but it doesn't work out that way. They just the boss keep keep going to center and they just keep resetting the um, the center over and over again. So what do I got to do here? Well, let's see here. I got to deal with two AO 192s because uh, this is really my only my option to actually keep getting some combat points uh, and not dying right away with the uh, squall lineup. So well, let's pull on on here. Oh, 14, 15, 19, 20, 29. Um, <laughs> I mean, I gotta shoot this thing so much, my machine guns overheat, right? I mean, I mean that's 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 ridiculous. Finally, finish him off, pull back around, and I got the AO-192 coming in on me. Um, uh, the flak is just harsh on these aircraft. Uh, we'll see what we can do here. So I flip around. Um, now the AO-192 is going after the bombers, and there's nothing I can do about it. I can't. I can't get close enough to him to do anything about it. I will simply just have to let him go because there's nothing I can do about it. So, uh, yeah, let's let's just pause here because uh, after that it just goes to shit anyway. We lose by a bunch, and uh, that's what it is. So, end of the review. Unless you really, really, really want these planes as a collector or you really, really want all the stuff that they're selling with us in the package, the $33, uh, I'm not even sure what that is in Euro, is not worth the, worth the time. These are uh, two thumbs down planes. Um, the package deal, unless, like I said, unless you really want that kind of stuff, um, the planes are not worth it, in my opinion. But there's always somebody that's going to disagree with me, so uh, have at it in the comments. Thanks for guys watching and uh, we'll see you guys uh, later.